Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how to get impossible camos on your guns in Warzone Pacific for anyone that wants to spice up their gameplay with some cool custom camos. A quick clarification, this is a post-processing effect that can be applied to video, not an in-game camo, so you won't be able to see these camos while you play. Anyone spectating you won't see the special camos, they only show up in the edited version of the footage. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using a free software called Shotcut, but you can also do this in any software that supports chroma keying, like After Effects, Premiere Pro, etc. If you want to stream this effect live, then you can do this through OBS. It's not as good as the effects you can get in video editing software, but I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial by Zephy on how you can do this in OBS. So first of all, you're going to import your gameplay clip, put it on one layer in your project. Here I have some gameplay of me running around with the Grau and Plunder. And then you drag your rainbow effect underneath. I've chosen this rainbow effect that just looks like a rainbow spiral. I'll post a link in the description to this video so you can get a copy yourself. Uh, but right now, there's no effect showing on the gun because the gameplay is completely covering up the rainbow effect. So in order to let it show through on the gun, you go to filters, look for chroma key advanced, uh, and you choose your key color here, click the color of the gun, and already you can see it showing through and this isn't perfect it's kind of blocky um, you can mess with the settings a little bit um, you can make it more inclusive or less inclusive you can choose how loosely defined you want the key color to be um, these are the settings that i found are the best for this particular camo one refinement you can make to this rainbow effect is if you zoom in so that the center of the spiral is in the corner you get something that looks like this uh, so it's all radiating out from the top left corner and that way you get this sweeping effect over the whole gun rather than radiating out from the middle when you do an inspect animation. It looks much nicer in my opinion. Another effect you could use is this multicolored ripple effect which I'll post a link in the description. This works best with a flat color like this HDR blueprint or any blueprint which has a flat color on it um, so that when you drag this effect underneath it you get to see all the features of the ripples showing through on the whole gun. Another thing to pay attention to is that this will not work for all camos so for example here this is a bad example of a camo to use because this is very brown uh, just like a lot of the terrain it's it's earth it's dirt trees uh, so greens and browns and grays uh, show up a lot in the world so if you try to chroma key this, if you select this color, then you get a lot of inclusion of the background. And no matter how tight you make it, there's no way you can make it so tight that the background is excluded, but the gun is excluded as well. There's no way to differentiate the gun from the background. So you need to choose a camo that is very vibrant and distinct. Uh, I have found that the best colors are pink and purple. So I'll give you some examples of how you can use those camos on Vanguard, Cold War, and Modern Warfare guns. Every Vanguard gun has this bright pink fashionista skin, and that works quite well for separating from the background. This is what it looks like with the rainbow effect applied. Here's a look at what it actually looks like in Caldera. Vanguard guns also have this blue camo called Phantasmal, which is relatively easy to separate from the background, from the terrain and stuff, but the sky is blue as well and can sometimes interfere with this. Uh, it works better in late game clips because the sky is generally obscured by green gas.
Modern Warfare guns have this neon pink camo, which is really bright pink and is very easy to separate from the background. Will give very good coverage. You can cover 99% of the gun uh, and you'll be able to see whatever background you want through it. Modern Warfare guns also have this Topo Trip camo, which is bright pink and also very easy to separate from the rest of the background. This is actually my favorite camo to do an effect on because it has a contour effect and it looks sort of like a rainbow Damascus. This is what it looks like in game. Cold War guns don't actually have a great selection of camos that you can do a chroma key effect on. Uh, the best it gets is really Plague Diamond because it's bright purple, is extremely easy to separate from the background. Um, and the second best would be Dark Ether because it has these purplish traces in the Dark Ether and you can get an effect to show through there. Apart from regular camos, there are also blueprints which might have a bright color that you could use. If you have a flat colored blueprint like this HDR, then you can actually get quite a clean uh, window effect because there's no texture on the surface. Then you can create what I like to call light ether with this uh, colored ripple effect. This is what it looks like running around Caldera. So that's it. If you made it this far in the video, then thank you for listening. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if you have any ideas for new camos I should try out. Uh, if you found this tutorial useful, then drop a like on the video and subscribe if you'd like to see me use any of these camos because I'm going to be posting more gameplay in the future where I try out some cool looking custom camos. Otherwise, have a great day.